Hi, and welcome to our telehealth video information service. I'm Garvin, and this video is on Lyxana, or Edoxaban, which is the chemical ingredient. So Lyxana is an anticoagulant medicine, or in other words, a medicine that prevents blood clotting. It is used in adults, and number one, it's used to prevent stroke, caused by blood clots in the brain and systemic embolism or blood clots in the organs in patients with non-valvular atrial fibrillation or irregular rapid contractions of the upper chambers of the heart. It is used in patients who have one or more risk factors such as having had a previous stroke, high blood pressure, diabetes, heart failure or being 75 years of age or older. And the second, number two, it used to treat deep vein thrombosis, or DVT, which is a blood clot in a deep vein, usually in the leg, and pulmonary embolism, or a clot in a vessel supplying the lungs. And to prevent a DVT and pulmonary embolism from reoccurring, Lyxiana contains the active substance edoxaban. So, how does it work? Edoxaban belongs to a class of drugs called anticoagulants, specifically factor XA inhibitors or blockers. Edoxaban helps prevent blood clots from forming by blocking the substance factor XA. So this is a blood clotting factor that's needed for your blood to clot. When a drug like edoxaban blocks factor XA, it decreases the amount of an enzyme called thrombin. Thrombin is a substance in your blood that's needed to form clots. And thrombin also makes platelets in your blood stick together, causing clots to form. When thrombin is decreased, this prevents a clot or thrombus from forming in your body. So plus, with atrial fibrillation, part of the heart doesn't beat the way it should. This may lead to blood clots forming in your heart. These clots can travel to your brain, causing a stroke, or to other parts of the body. So edoxaban is a blood thinner that decreases your chance of having a stroke by helping to prevent clots from forming. The most common side effects that occur with edoxaban include bleeding that takes longer to stop, and bruising more easily, skin rash, reduce liver function, low red blood cell count or anemia. So the symptoms may include shortness of breath, feeling very tired, confusion, fast heart rate and palpitations, pale skin, trouble concentrating, headache and chest pain and cold hands and feet. So if these effects are mild, they may go away within a few days or a couple of weeks. If they're more severe, or don't go away, talk to your doctor or pharmacist. Serious side effects. So call your doctor right away if you have serious side effects and call the emergency services if your symptoms feel life-threatening or if you think you're having a medical emergency. Serious side effects and their symptoms can include the following. The first serious side effect is serious bleeding. Symptoms can include unexpected bleeding or bleeding that lasts a long time, such as frequent nosebleeds, unusual bleeding from your gums, menstrual bleeding that's heavier than normal, and bleeding that's severe or that you can't control, and red, pink or brown coloured urine, bright red or black coloured stools that look like tar and coughing up blood or blood clots, vomiting blood or vomit that looks like coffee grounds, also headache, dizziness or weakness. So next up is the interactions. So a doxyban oral tablet can interact with other medications, vitamins or herbs that you may be taking. An interaction is when a substance changes the way a drug works. This can be harmful or prevent the drug from working well. To help avoid interactions, your doctor should manage all your medicines carefully. Be sure to tell your doctor about all medications, vitamins or herbs you're taking. To find out how this drug might interact with something else you're taking, talk to your doctor or pharmacist. Examples of drug drugs that can cause interactions with adoxiban are first 
to non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs or NSAIDs. Taking NSAIDs with this drug may increase your risk of bleeding. So use caution when taking these drugs with adoxiban. Examples of these drugs include diclofenic, ibuprofen and indomethacin. Second would be aspirin. So taking aspirin with this drug may increase your risk of bleeding. So use caution when taking aspirin with adoxiban. Next is antiplatelet drugs. So taking antiplatelet drugs with this drug may increase your risk of bleeding. Use caution when taking these drugs with edoxiban. And examples of these drugs would be clopidogrel or Plavix. And next is blood thinners. Don't take edoxiban with other blood thinners long term. It increases your chances of bleeding. It may be okay to use these medicines together briefly when you're switching from one to the other. Examples of these would be warfarin. And drugs that affect how your body processes edoxiban. So don't take edoxiban with rifampicin. It reduces the levels of edoxiban in your blood and this makes it less effective. So what about pregnancy and breastfeeding? For pregnant women, edoxiban is a category C pregnancy drug. That means two things. Tell your doctor if you're pregnant or plan to become pregnant. Edoxiban should be used during pregnancy only if the potential benefit justifies the potential risk to the fetus. And for women who are breastfeeding, it isn't known if edoxiban passes through breast milk. If it does, it may cause serious effects in a breastfed child. So you and your doctor may need to decide if you'll take edoxiban or breastfeed. For children, the safety and effectiveness of edoxiban hasn't been established in people younger than 18 years of age. So how and when to take edoxiban? It is important to take edoxiban as your doctor advises. You usually take it once a day. Try to take it at the same time every day. So how much to take? So the usual dose of edoxiban is 60 milligram a day. Your doctor may prescribe 30 milligram a day if you have kidney disease or a low body weight or are taking cyclosporin or are taking erythromycin or ketoconazole. So if you're unsure what dose you need to take, check with your pharmacist or doctor. And next is, what if you forget to take it? So take your tablet as soon as you remember. If you only remember the following day, leave out your forgotten dose and take your next dose as usual and carry on as normal. Never take more than one dose in a single day. So how long to take the edoxiban for? How long you need to take edoxiban will depend on why you are taking it. If you've had a blood clot or a DVT or pulmonary embolism, you'll normally take edoxiban for at least three months, depending on what caused the blood clot. You might need to take it longer. If you have atrial fibrillation, you might need to take edoxiban long term or even for the rest of your life. So important considerations for taking edoxiban. Edoxiban can be taken with or without food. If you or your child has trouble swallowing the edoxiban, you can crush the tablet and mix it into uh, applesauce. And be sure to consume all of the applesauce right away. And for storage, store edoxiban at room temperature between 20 degrees Celsius and 25 degrees Celsius. And don't freeze the drug and keep it away from direct sunlight. And don't store the medicine in moist or damp areas, such as a bathroom. So that brings this telehealth video to an end. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below or contact me through my website, mytelehealth.info or call in to us at Lynch's Pharmacy in Douglas and Cork or ring us at 021 436 6923. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy and stay informed.